so-called experts or you know, stakeholders is the person that sued the General Assembly recently. And his client is still saying on Twitter that they're going to sue the Senate. For what? I don't know. <laughs> Try not to engage much on Twitter. If that lawsuit were to occur, I assume I know who the lawyer would be. That's a delicate situation to just bring that lawyer in for stakeholding on the topic that has essentially active litigation on it. It's kind of a perplexing situation I've ever been in. So yes, some people were not part of the conversation because I did not know how to have that conversation and feel safe and feel like it was going to be a productive space until the bill was introduced and it was just an open dialogue in the public domain. And that's where we are today. I, I do want to thank the Colorado Press Association and the Colorado Broadcasting Association there have been a series of conversations, and I think there were really, and there will be more. Um, I think they have been helpful. They, I think they've tried to wrestle with some of these problems with us, alongside us, and, and provided suggestions um, on, on potential improvements to make, some of which I think are reasonable, some of which I think we just need to work through and see if there's a way to, to make it work. Um, and, and you know, I commit to the committee and others that we'll have those conversations um, before we bring this bill back up to the committee. So uh, I, I do want to encourage others that if they have thoughts, they have ideas that haven't been um, brainstormed yet, to bring them forward. And, and I'm very open to that conversation. The goal here is to provide clarity. And by that, I mean there is current guidance, either official guidance or sort of like you know, informal, this is the practice and how we comply. I want to, in one way or another, sort of codify that. So, this bill is not attempting to create less transparency than we have today. It's to make sure that the way we operate, the way we've been kind of providing guidelines on how to operate, as much as possible that we can put that in the law so we actually know that that is kosher and that's how we can do it. And trying to do the right thing and following guidance isn't going to result in litigation and that you could lose and be sort of be embarrassed about even though you were following what you thought was the practice that everyone has said, including your attorneys, to follow. And it's not to throw any of the attorneys under the bus. It's to say, clearly, there's not clear, clarity. If people are following guidance and still end up in court and a judge comes to a different conclusion, I think that is begging for us to provide and that's what the bill is attempting to do. So, um, appreciate the conversation, the questions, the discussion. Um, I'm really happy to be wrestling with this stuff with all of you and have it be sort of a, have it be your problem now too. <laughs> um, and hopefully we can figure it out together and, and appreciate the, the, the chair and the committee for allowing this open and honest space and hope that we can continue it um, into, into the coming weeks. Senator Basin. 